Lawnmower fenders, wide wheels, beefy tires, and all the other cool things that tie into making your car, well, wide. I mean, when you first look at it, it sounds pretty easy, right? Well, in this episode of the Build Sheet, we're gonna go over what to do and what to expect and what other parts you may need to wide body your car. So if you go ahead and look at the car scene right now, wide body and over fendered cars are everywhere. So here you are getting home from a car show or car meet or what have you, and you just got done seeing a mob of Rocket Bunny FRSs pulling up, and now you get home, you pull up YouTube, and you're here watching this video, so you just might be considering wide bodying or over fendering your car. Awesome, good for you, dear guy. But before you go ahead and pull the trigger on a brand new Pandem kit, or maybe the rep kit that you found on eBay for $300, there might be a few things you should keep in mind before you go ahead and actually wide body your car. As far as additional components you may need or additional processes you may need to do to actually accomplish that with your car. So the first thing that is probably pretty obvious for the most part is that you're going to need to get a new set of wheels. So unless you wanna be absolutely roasted on Instagram because you got excited that your over fender showed up for your 350Z, but you haven't ordered new wheels yet, and you got excited, you posted the picture of the car anyway with the fenders like taped up to the side of the car on your stock 18 by eights or 18 by nines, and then you just get made fun of and it goes viral and then you're just having a bad time. With that being said, you are going to need not only a decently wide wheel, but also a design that is offered in a decently low offset as well. You can get by with a Flow Forge option such as a Rohana or even like a Forge Star F14, but for the most part, a multi-piece wheel is going to be your best bet since you can get them custom made to the size that you need to get that perfect fitment with your over fenders. And don't forget as well, you're gonna need some wide grippy boys to fit those wheels as well. Which by the way, if you need wheels and tires, fitmanindustries.com, that's a plug. We can also get you a quote on multi-piece wheels also. So anyway, so the time has come. The hours of tracking the UPS guy nonstop for the last week has near the end as you get the notification on your phone that your package has been sent out to delivery. It'll be on your door by as late as 3 p.m. So you go get your BRC, you go prep it for the transformation, you get everything marked up, cut out, welded, mocked up, and you throw the new wheel on and all of a sudden rubbing I can't even make a turn without it like rubbing. Oh. and it's not rubbing of like the over fenders but it's like rubbing of the frame on some cars especially the 86 platform when you get into the wider widths of wheels and the lower offsets of wheels you can run into a little bit of an issue with tires rubbing on other parts of the car such as the inside of your fender liners or even with like the frs's and stuff you run into an issue with them hitting the front of the frame rail so just be prepared to cut more metal than originally planned i would highly suggest doing your research on the specific vehicle that you're looking to do a wide body or put over fenders on just so you don't get halfway through the install and then be stuck sitting there like, what the fuck am I gonna do now? I thought all I had to do was cut my fenders. I just about had a fucking heart attack when I had to do that. I can't, I can't just cut into the frame of the car. Like, there wasn't in the instruction manual, man. So now that you have everything mocked up, everything's clearing, you got it clinkoed on, you know, so you can go drive it around for the first time. Another thing that you're definitely wanna kinda keep in mind is whether or not you're going to wrap the new body panels or the new fenders of your car, you're gonna paint them, or if you're even just gonna go ahead and paint the whole car all together. I would say for the most part, if you're one of those guys or girls doing the install by yourselves or maybe with a couple friends in your garage, that you're more than likely gonna end up wrapping the car, which is really cool because it's another process that you get to learn. It's not too crazy expensive. And you can not only transform the car with the body kit that you put on it, but you get to transform it with the color as well. So go crazy, ah, go stupid. And probably one of the last things to keep in mind is if you end up picking up a kit such as a Pandem or Rocket Bunny, the kits are offered with a lot of additional aero parts. So you get like canards and splitters and dive plates and all that kind of stuff and even big wings. But if the kit that you picked out for your car did not come with any of that aero, you might want to look in to some additional aero pieces to throw on. A lot of over fenders and wide body kits that are available for cars on the market tend to make the cars look pretty aggressive. So if you have a softer looking car like a 350Z that is now wide bodied, looking pretty aggressive, it may look a little odd or if something is missing if you don't have that front splitter or some side splitters or some canards or a diffuser 
or a wing or something like that. Because when you add that stuff to a wide body car, it can really round it out per se, it can really tie everything together and give it that unique look that you're actually going for. So the addition of aero can really make or break a car. Just make sure again, if you're actually taking your car to the track or actually care about how that aero affects the car, remember to keep it balanced. You can actually revert back to another video that we did talking about how to balance all your aero. So really what it all comes down to is if you're looking to wide body your car or if you're looking to do a wide body kit or over fenders for your car, that it's a commitment. And that it's a commitment that you really want to do right the first time because, well, you only really get that one chance unless you feel like welding new quarter panels on or something like that just to recut up again. Make sure you plan ahead. Do the research for your car specifically. There's plenty of videos out there. There's plenty of Reddits on there, how to do it for specific vehicles. Go ahead and do the research. Make sure you have all the stuff needed ahead of time so you're not falling into that halfway through process and then just end up giving up because that's unfortunately what we see a lot of people do with their builds. So don't be that person. Go ahead, do the research, plan ahead, make an awesome wide body car. I'm Jealous from Fitment Industries. If you need wheels, tires, suspension, gear, anything like that, fitmentindustries.com. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later. Peace.